Actually, who do you actually think won the race? Oh, he won the race. <laughs> he got me in the line, though. It's... Could have been anyone. Could have been anyone. <laughs> Neil, how'd that feel out there? Next time, next time. <laughs> uh, it felt really good. I just messed it up when it was a really crucial moment. I, I was way too patient, and I thought that a gap was going to open in between Andrew and Sam. It didn't. So I panicked and had to go all the way around. Not what you want to do, but um, yeah, thankfully I had enough gas in the tank to press at the last 50 and sneak that one. Do you feel like it's nice to actually have some races indoors? I feel like last year you had some time trials, but now it's about beating people, so right? So much better, so much more <laughs> fun. I hate getting after the clock by yourself. It's so much better. Just focusing on winning. The time will take care of itself if you're in a field like that. So yeah, way more fun to just try and mix it for the win. You already have the standard. Yeah, yeah. How big of a relief is that? And that, like, just the entire way you segment your seasons. It's it's bigger than you'd think. It gives us a lot of freedom to kind of prepare right down to you know the precise kind of peaking stages of the season, rather than backing off a little bit because you know there's a good opportunity this week, and then oh you didn't quite hit it. Let's back off again the next week and try and do it again. It affords you way more freedom to answer your question. Yeah, so it is big. When you're chasing like you know last year points. Yeah. Are you changing training that is, you know, like, are you coming down regularly? Are you doing more speed and now you can focus more on strength? A little bit. Um, it's really just race week, but sometimes you have to back off workouts when you really kind of want to keep pressing. It's not a huge difference, but it's enough where the margins are so fine that you want to eke out every last week for what it's worth. So not a huge difference, but it adds up, it adds up. How's that Under Armour group developing out in Flagstaff right now? Looking pretty good. Yeah, a lot of good momentum going for us right now. I mean, Sharon took us to new heights in the fall and um, the marathon. I think that was just a big statement, uh, not only for us, but for the brand, I suppose, as well. Um, and yeah, just really good chemistry just now. A lot of good um, culture in the team just now. I'm really enjoying being part of it. I think we're all pushing each other on, and we're not settling to just be another pro group. That's not what we want to do. We want to be, we want to be challenging for for world class kind of performances. So yeah, yeah, things are going well. There. You have another race coming up next weekend. Yeah, yeah. You were my dark horse pick <laughs> well before this race. How, how do you feel going into Milrose with this under your belt? Hopefully the odds have shortened a bit, but I'm sure they'll still be long. Um, yeah, no, that's another step up in competition. It'll be another level, but I think I'm ready for these guys. I think the work that I've put in um, is really going to show up, hopefully, more next week than this week. Hopefully, that pace is strung out, which I'd imagine these guys will be pressing from pretty far out. I'll be able to hang. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll just be competing for the win again. The time will take care of itself. What's the fastest you've ever gone out first half in a mile? Ooh. Or 15. 15. Actually, it was probably the BU this time last year. The pacer got really excited, and we were out in like 150 or 151 through eight. And then I was all by myself the last 700. It's different when you've got a race, but I was, oh man, it was just 30s from then on trying to hang on to that pace. But uh, yeah, that's the fastest. Are there whispers of what you guys are aiming for next week? I haven't heard anything. It'll be quick. I'm, I'm ready for quick. That's all right. Oh man, that's luck. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers.